Was he getting impatient there? Was that what that was? Well, the elevator is going up a lot further than I thought it would. Mm-hmm. We were the at sea level. The surface is the top of a mountain. Yeah. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Uh, that worry. message will that actually change depending on me. how well you did during the dock well. segment. Nice if I had done it well, then you would have praised Fair Snake. It's designed to Snake will only say the line about the VR missions on the Discovery if you complete any VR missions before starting the game. turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? So, Behind D isn't a specific helicopter, it's a series? You mean it's not just the same helicopter over and over again? Yes, I thought it was the same helicopter no. being blown up and then being repaired. Just because it had a credit it was... in Metal Gear 2? Yeah, I was gonna say, because it was introduced as a character in Metal Gear 2 at the end. No, it's, it's just a kind of helicopter. Oh. It got a credit because it has that goofy looking face. I thought well, it was legitimately a reoccurring character. My greatest nemesis. Hi, D. Well, in a series where you can uh, just repair somebody that was shot with a rocket launcher, there are only you could repair the helicopter the too. Deadline. I'm guessing a lot it's easier. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. Even though Colonel's expressions change, he does look, just look like a California raisin in the suit. as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Your accent is atrocious. I just didn't expect a world-class <laughs> designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm Has Snake been adopting Jonathan Ingram's well, character? Mm -hmm. for the next 18 hours. And Gillian Seed. It's like Kojima can only write one protagonist. Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. I don't know why Mei Ling has to wear a headset. Just because she's dressed like an operator, nobody else has to because they're using codex built into their ear. Well, so you know that she's a Soliton specialist. Well, she invented the codex system, so maybe she knows something about it that we don't. That's why she doesn't want to use it. It actually destroys your ears if you use it long enough, so she's using a headset. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. I don't believe that at all. They can see up to five feet in front of them, Snake. I want you to infiltrate the disposal site. Does that mean that all the genome warrior or the genome soldiers were also injected with GPS things that would make them show up on the map as red dots? Um, yeah, you'd think so. If he's alive, that is. But also, uh, they don't have the Soliton radar system, which is a good thing, because then Snake would show up on theirs. Affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use As opposed to this other technology we imported from the future. Say, um, can they see each other over the codec calls? Uh, that's... Somewhat of an inconsistency. Sometimes they mention, hey, you look cute. <laughs> yeah, uh, and other times it doesn't make any sense. Because so, it's only buzzing in his ear, right? Right. Uh, so I'm guessing it, it works the same way that how he can see the Soliton radar, in that it's, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, okay. Good. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to Colonel, I said I was sorry. I put the clothes on, okay? <laughs> Drop it. Remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. 
I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If I wind up in a prison on Shadow Moses Island, I can trade them for goods and services. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. I only know pineapples are grenades. They're making a, a smoothie. I, I don't know what five five sixers are. Uh, assault okay, rifles. Near the oh. Door. There should also be a duct on the second So the reason floor. our support staff knows anything that they do know about this base is because it's an American nuclear weapons disposal facility, so it's, it it's likely that they have the, the blueprints or the schematics for the base. I'll let you decide the best COA. Fine, I'll let you play your own damn game, Snake. I'm sick of telling you what to do. But there's one more uh, member of our support staff we haven't yet met. If you don't want to ask her anything about nukes, or anything else in this game, you never have to contact Nastasha Romanenko. She's a completely optional part of this game. Really? Yeah. That's why uh, a lot of people who don't listen to the codec calls forget entirely that she exists. I don't blame them. What brand of cigarettes do you smoke? <laughs> it's uh, my, my, my isotopes. We must not allow Smokes. terrorists to get their hands on nuclear So the women in this game are only distinguishable because of their terrible accents. <laughs> that was literally the reason that uh, they each have an accent like this, is because they feared that people couldn't tell them apart if they didn't. And neither can I. Another reason you might not want to listen to Nastasha Romanenko, aside from her talk being a uh, uninteresting nuke chat. Because of her Russian accent, she speaks slower, slower than every other character. I wonder if Snake feels intimidated that her cigarette's bigger than his. <laughs> Mine's more solid. <laughs> There's no turning back now, Snake. Aww. You've got to do, and you're our only hope. The world is counting on you. Well, I guess if I get a free meal out of the deal. Oh. Yeah, we can only hold two rations at the beginning of the game. So it just kind of jitters in place? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe because Snake's holding one in each hand, he's trying to pick up the third one and just keeps fumbling all over the place. Make sure you stay out of the beam. We can avoid it entirely by going this way, but then the guard might see our footprints. It looks like a cargo truck. They must use it for transporting goods around the base. I'm not quite sure how they drove it over here. Uh... Or they were doing... just moving one gun. Good. You found a SOCOM. That's a Special Operations Command pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to you help you. can spin you in place. If you I got lazy Susan. Suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed Wee. specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. In fact, Snake is so good with that weapon, he can moonwalk in place while aiming it. Aiming it at what? <laughs> 90 degrees. To equip the last weapon you used, press the R1 button while you're holding a weapon to be barehanded again. Don't fire your gun neatly. Huh? <laughs> Probably my imagination. It would be a different story. So guards can't hear your footprints in this game when you're walking on crunchy snow, unless you're walking on some hollow metallic surface. <laughs> You'll never be able to get through the front door. I thought that was the secret code, Colonel. <laughs> Are we not doing tap codes anymore? They taught that in Foxhound. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb your sleep. Is that camera asleep too? Oh no, it's not. It's active. It's just not sweeping. It's just relaxing its eyes. I think that guard was stationed underneath that camera specifically because they knew that he fell asleep often, and they wanted to keep an eye on him. Enter into a light sleep any time and still remain in attack posture. No, you see, Snake, it's not a flaw. It's a feature. I want them to be like this. So, how exactly did they do the training for this? Did they just gather everybody up and uh, <laughs> like called for nap time? Anyone who fell down got a shock. No, it's um, it's like they do with the tree to keep it straight up. They tie you to a pole and they fall asleep, and then they just gradually put in a weaker pole. They did have military nap time training, though. Yes, that exists in the Metal Gear universe. Tactical nap time. There should be a blind spot underneath that camera. You'll be okay if you stay flat up against the wall. Whoever was in charge of stacking those sacks of whatever did a poor, a poor job. They just ended up with one sitting on the shipping container. They were going to try to make a pyramid, but they were one short. <laughs> no, I get it. They uh, they stacked a bunch at the base of that container so they could jump from the top one and land on it. Probably some of the other uh, tactical training they had to do on Shadow Moses. First nap time, and then the giant slide. The twist of this game is, is Shadow Moses is actually a kindergarten. Disable your opponents temporarily. You have to understand that they won't kill the bad guys, but just stun them for a few seconds. Use them wisely. Snake, your mission is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. You didn't waste any time in getting spotted, did you? Too bad. Looks like your cover is blown. Proceed with extreme caution. The colonel gets pretty snarky. <laughs> like, he could do better. Do you get anything for going through an entire game without ever being detected? Uh, you get a better rank at the end of the game. Snake, listen to what uh. OG said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. I want it. It's not <laughs> worth it. Snake is a hoarder, so... That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow... If you hold on it for too long, it explodes in your hand and does a little bit of damage to you. It can confuse electronic equipment. It will be useful against machines which depend upon electronic sensors. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. Watch out for that surveillance camera. You can probably jam it temporarily with your chaff. In addition to the VR missions that pop up on the radar screen, uh, sometimes you'll see a Nastasha Romanenko pop up. If you want to hear Nastasha talk about nukes, that's where you'd want to click. Because she has a lot of uh, things to say that don't really pertain to any gameplay. There's nothing I could uh, attach to it. Power to run the base. It's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. So whenever we call Mei Ling to save, she'll provide Snake with uh, a helpful quote, which then she'll somehow tie into some gameplay mechanic. Did you call Snake? Snake, remember what the Gaul said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Uh, I still find it hard to believe that several fighters were taken out by a chopper. Yeah, that's a plot point later on. Oh, okay. Just they're so impressed that he was able to do that with a chopper. Well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. It was driven by a helicopter kid. That was Liquid Snake. Oh, I didn't know Liquid Snake was helicopter kid. <laughs> that was the twist. Truth. I'd like to learn more about you. Well, I'll think about it.
So, Nastasha has a lot of things to say about nukes, and it doesn't really pertain to any of the gameplay in the game. So, here is me playing on the extreme difficulty. Uh, in extreme difficulty, the enemies have better hearing, better sight, and they don't give you the Soliton radar. Uh, you can hold less uh, ammunition and less items. I think I can only hold one ration right now. Uh, less items appear on the ground, so it's harder to come by. And smoking is instant death. <laughs> it's an exploding cigar. So you're telling me that this base was built so they could temporarily avoid being in conflict with Stark too? Most people think that we live in a safer world now, but with all the dismantled nuclear weapons and waste around, the threat of nuclear... I like to think that Snake is going around deliberately doing all this killing just to offset the peace. It's his passive-aggressive way of telling uh, Nastasha he doesn't want to hear any of this. Between 3,000 and 3,500 warheads each. They completely dismantled all of the ICBMs which contained MIRVs. As a result of that, there are over 15,000 dismantled nuclear warheads waiting to be dismantled. Of. <laughs> Get flying. To be dismantled at Pantex or flying up? What? Facility, but there are limits to how many warheads they can process. We just do not have the capabilities to dismantle all the warheads. Are these names of real life facilities? Oh yeah. Tons of plutonium and over 1,000 tons of high grade uranium have been removed from nuclear weapons so far. And on top of that, nuclear reactors all over the world continue to produce and leak spent nuclear fuel. According to one estimate, as of the year 2005, America... This game was released in 1998, so all the... the year... Uh, it's forecasted? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you say that? <laughs> Couldn't handle it. <laughs> but they're the bomb.